Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Detroit, Michigan with the Honorable Judge Coleman as a uh, more sovereign citizen by the name of Javar Grayson, who is trying to get civil litigation done on a police officer that pulled him over at a traffic stop some time ago. But it doesn't exactly work out too well for him in this particular scenario because, well, he's not a very bright individual. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Good morning. The 36th District Court in the state of Michigan is now in session with the Honorable Judge Donald Coleman presiding. While court is in session, there will be no talking, sleeping, chewing gum, or reading any material. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is case number 23152244. This is uh, Javar Grayson versus Brian Ambrose. And that is uh, before the court uh, where there is an application for entry of a default uh, judgment. Well, here's what's going on right here. The more soft tart in the upper left, right hand corner believes that he should be given default judgment due to what he perceives as an unlawful traffic stop because he believes that he is above the law and that he is not within the jurisdiction of the United States at all. So therefore, nobody should be pulling him over. And well, that's not entirely how it works, dude. You're in the United States. You got to follow the laws, buddy. Otherwise, go find another country to live in that will tolerate your BS. Oh, wait. There are no other countries that would tolerate that kind of bullshit. Um, the court has uh, set the matter on uh, in regard to that motion. Your appearance uh, for uh, any attorney who's appearing on either side, your appearance in the first instance, please. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Christopher Michaels, P83156. On behalf of police officer Brian Ambrose, um, and briefly, there was also a uh, the defendant's motion to dismiss in lieu of answer was filed. I don't know if today is the date and time for that as well. I do have I do have that uh, matter that was filed with the court June the thirtieth uh, and uh, submitted to the court. So that is an issue that's before the court as well. Uh, uh, all right, and do I have uh, uh, Jabbar Grayson on this? room? say something if you hear it this time. Yes, Your Honor. Javar Grayson representing myself. All right. Thank you, Mr. Grayson. Good morning uh, to you. Uh, as Good morning. Well. All right. I, I see that there is the, uh, let me address the issue of the uh, the application for entry of default judgment in this matter. Uh, on what basis uh, are you saying, uh, Mr. Grayson, that you should be entitled to entry of default judgment in this matter, sir? Well, Your Honor, um, we sent uh, documents into you uh, stating that I'm a national, a Morris American. Well, no shit. And um, this um, highwayman has no jurisdiction over me. And um, we sent that information to you. And I also sent, um, I believe I have a uh, court, uh, people versus battle as a reference in the case. A question. Uh, which people versus battle are you referring to? Is it this one right here that uh, is about uh, stolen checks, or is it this one that's about a uh, manslaughter case where a individual didn't maintain the brakes on a vehicle properly and it resulted in a death? Either way, uh, how does it uh, pertain to your particular case? Because I'm just curious, because I so often hear this argument, but uh, all I find are these two cases right here. So if you could be a bit more clear on it. Uh, I, I think that you're addressing something that don't have anything to do with my question. You, you, okay. submitted, uh, you submitted to the court a default request. Now, on one hand, you're telling me uh, that the court doesn't have oh. jurisdiction. Uh, oh, you tell okay. me, you tell me that uh, the court doesn't have jurisdiction. You're not sitting into the jurisdiction of the court. Then uh, why are you filing something in this court if, if you believe the court doesn't have jurisdiction? Oh, what a 
good question, Judge. Because if this soft heart actually believed that he was not within your jurisdiction, then why the hell is he filing motions to begin with? And why the hell is he even here? Why the hell is he even participating in this? So, yeah, dude, answer that. Um, the, I'm sorry, the, the jurisdiction um, that doesn't have jurisdiction, the 36th District Court, a traffic court, I'm not, I, that's not pertaining to you. What I decided to do was send you basically every information uh, to communicate what I've been doing basically in 36th District Court, as well as um, this procedure. Sorry, Softard, but that was not exactly a response to the question. That was more like a word salad right there. I'm not a, I'm not a traffic court judge. I'm a civil judge. But I don't know what are you yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, sir. And yeah, I understand that. All right, all right, Mr. Um, Mr. Michaels, uh, address yourself, if you will, uh, to the uh, uh, to both issues. One is the the uh, motion for entry of default, and then secondly, uh, which uh, I believe these issues might collide. The motion to dismiss in lieu of filing an answer, sir. Go right ahead, sir. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. I did read a copy of the request for default this week, so I had I, I had no opportunity to respond. Obviously, the city or uh, the the city law department who is representing this police officer uh, filed its motion back in June, dismissed in lieu of an answer. So I don't believe there's any grounds whatsoever for a default judgment. Um, the brief speaks pretty clearly on its face uh, for why a dismissal is appropriate. There is not a, a, no viable claim stated in plaintiff's original complaint and any and the since the defendant is a um at was at the time a and still is a police officer uh he'd be entitled to governmental immunity it appears that it's some sort of dispute regarding um traffic tickets or, or uh, uh, citations that were given for uh, various uh, matters that are currently pending in front of judge perkins right now so it also appears to be some sort of collateral attack against those proceedings, which is under Michigan rules not permitted. So we would ask this court dismiss this case under any of those grounds. Well, certainly. Um, now let me let me begin with the uh, the default request. I don't see where the you know, where the uh, uh, defendant is in default in this matter. He's responded to the complaint. Uh, default is when a party fails to act in the judicial proceeding. Uh, in a court proceeding, uh, fail to act uh, when they should have acted, uh, and that therefore the court uh, would be required uh, to enter a, their default because of their failure, things like failure to answer the complaint or failure to file, file a responsive pleading. The responsive pleading that was filed in this matter uh, was filed in July, excuse me, in June. The case was filed, uh, looks like June the 13th. 2023. The motion uh, was filed June the 30th. That's certainly within the time required by law to do a responsive plea. So I, I don't see any basis for default. Default is what, like if the defendant did not answer or didn't file a response, then uh, the plaintiff could uh, could move for entry of default. I don't see a basis for an entry of default in this matter. Well, that's because there is no basis for uh, his argument on a uh, default judgment besides the fact that he thinks he is above the law and that he is outside of your jurisdiction, which his mere presence here or mere presence in any court proceeding uh, pretty much nullifies that argument right there because if he actually believed that nonsense, well, uh, he would not be appearing in court. He'd be... Well, elsewhere right now. But he would still probably get a uh, warrant issued for his arrest anyway, because, you know, that kind of thing happens when you don't go to court. Now, so the, the motion application for entry of default uh, is, is denied. There's nothing nothing about this case that shows that the uh, plaintiff uh, is in default or, you know, for that matter, that defendant is in default on anything. Uh, neither, neither party is in default. The case is right where it's supposed to be, and that is that there's been a complaint filed, and then there's been a response of pleading. That response of pleading is a motion to dismiss uh, in lieu of filing an answer. If the plaintiff didn't file straight, if the defendant didn't file a motion, he would have had to file an answer uh, uh, to the complaint. So when there's a complaint, 
you got to answer within a certain period of time by either filing a written answer or by filing a motion. Sometimes there's a motion for a more definite statement. Sometimes there's a motion to dismiss uh, because the complaint is deficient or it has some legal flaw involved. This, this motion to dismiss and little answer um, is filed alleging and arguing that uh, summary disposition uh, 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 should be granted or that a motion uh, that the court should dismiss the case because there's no legal uh, grounds, uh, factual grounds for this case to stand on. What is this? What is this case about, Mister uh, uh, Mister Grayson, sir? Um, it's about a traffic. Uh, I guess is a uh, some type of uh, traffic ticket. I started off a uh, um, Brian Ambrosius uh, stopping me. And I believe I have the right to travel. It started with that. And I do understand uh, the default judgment. Uh, what do you, uh, that you are saying and what is pertaining to. We are still uh, ready to proceed with the case. What, what, what exactly is your cause of action? Because I don't think that, I don't think that you stated a, a, a cause of action uh, that uh, upon which the court could uh, move forward with the complaint. Well, actually, um, um, in traffic court nine thirty six district, there's actions being taken against me as we speak. This is a current case, and um, thirty six district court has no jurisdiction over me. That's why I decided to bring it into uh, civil court common law, and this is a six month case that's still going on. So. Uh, all right, uh, Mr. Mr. Mike, you get the last word on your, your motion. Uh, hey, yes, to do briefly, there was nothing filed by plaintiff, and it does sound like he's disputing his traffic tickets in this court, which is a collateral attack, which the Michigan court rules and uh, do not allow. So I, I think that that's the best ground to dismiss this case, and we would ask that this court. I eject your honor. I'm uh, disputing my birthright. <laughs> I'm disputing my right to travel. All right, I, I, I got it. All right, uh, that you you failed the state of action upon which the court could grant the leave. Um, this this case uh, and the complaint in this matter be dismissed. Uh, it's dismissed without prejudice, meaning that if you can formulate a cause of action that is recognized in the Michigan law, uh, then you you can uh, you can bring the matter if you can formulate uh, case law or some type of law that supports your cause of action. Uh, it sounds. Part of what is being said here is that uh, uh, as a, uh, a sound person, you have the right to travel and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and there is some uh, there is some basis for the same. Uh, but yet there is uh, there is law that allows for uh, law enforcement to stop individuals that are traveling upon the, uh, the roadways. Uh, and so uh, if that is what the cause of action is, is that. Uh, they don't have the right to stop me. There is nothing in uh, Michigan law that recognizes that. So in other words, this smooth brain soft heart is just wasting everybody's time because he has no concept or understanding of any laws whatsoever. That there is nothing in Michigan law that says what he thinks it says. Okay, gotcha. If, on the other hand, uh, you find some basis to establish that, uh, that the stop was in the form of uh, some illegal activity, harassment, some uh, uh, some advance against your person that is not committed under law uh, or done under color of law, but not committed under the Constitution, uh, then you certainly uh, have the right to bring an action here or in circuit court or in federal court. This case does not, this case does not have any grounding to it. For that reason, the complaint uh, is dismissed in this matter. Again, that complaint is dismissed without prejudice. Um, that would be a final order regarding this particular problem. Well, better luck next time you're a moronic crown munching soft hard. Maybe uh, you should actually try uh, reading and researching the proper laws instead of uh, spewing off whatever your guru says you should spout off because that would be a bit more beneficial to you in the long run. And you wouldn't be paying so much in Court fines, court costs, and uh, 
traffic tickets. So, yeah, that would be a good way to start. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?